This is an overview of a Teams room system. We have the dual screen, a Logitech rally bar, the storage for the micro PC, and we also have the Logitech tap with the Teams interface and a couple of microphones on the table. So as you can see here, the meeting is already set up. I click join, and this is just synchronized with the Outlook calendar. So, because this room didn't organize it, the um, person organized it has to let me into the meeting. And as you can see, my colleague Richard, back at the office, has joined the call. Um, and I also get a preview of the in-room camera. So, a couple of features we can quickly run through is if Richard presents into the room, you can see the dual screens in full swing. So as you can see, Richard is on the left screen and his presentation is on the right. Um, you maintain a preview of your actually in-room experience as well. Um, what we can also do is in the room, I can present to Richard. So when Richard stops presenting, it returns to the original setup. What I can do then is also present through the room. So with this HDMI cable, this feeds into the Logitech tap and I can basically send the HDMI signal into the meeting. So this laptop doesn't, isn't required to be part of the meeting. It automatically pushes the signal on. And as you can see, so I can see this from in the room and Richard can see that from the office space. Uh, another feature, which we'll quickly run through, is what happens when there's multiple participants in the meeting on top of the room. So I will join the meeting through my laptop. And as you can see, when I join the meeting through my laptop, because there's multiple participants, I'm spread out over multiple screens. If you can imagine there's 10, 12 participants, they'll be equally split over both screens, just to maximize the available space. Once we're finished with the meeting in the room, you can basically just tap the end button. Before we do that, you can just see the various settings. So you can mute, camera mute, volume. Um, that is a very quick overview of a Teams room system. If Richard logs out now. Thanks, Richard. I will also log out from my laptop, which is in front of me. And we're back to the original meeting. I end the call. And we're back to the holding screen. The nook is the tap is still showing the meeting that's just happened. So if you de get disconnected, you can rejoin. You can also separately, if you wanted to create a new meeting, you press call and you can search within your organization, or you can do a full on video conference, which again allows you to search within your organization. So that was a very quick overview of the Teams Room system.